Often there is a description of the ordinary life of only aristocrats in a pleasant light, but we will try to consider an ordinary person. Imagine that you are a typical English knight of the Crusades, and in theory, your life should be fun and eventful. In such cases, your day starts at about 5 a.m. with breakfast and grueling workouts. After all, if you are an honorary knight, you should almost sleep in full gear, which, by the way, weighs from 30 to 50 kilograms. These are not just gaming modern chainmail at cosplayer festivals, but the equipment of a modern paratrooper, which barely reaches a weight of 30 kilograms, the full part of which is in a backpack. The knights could not take advantage of such convenience. Their armor even covered their limbs. Royal Magazine experimented by dressing people in knightly armor and putting them on treadmills. Even normal walking required twice as much energy, while running doubled this figure. So, any knight who dreams of knighthood should be prepared for the fact that any movement will become less difficult. And if you respect yourself as a knight, don't enter the mosque. There is a widespread myth that they weigh 18 kilograms or even more, but in fact everything is simpler. According to a British expert in the field of weapons, we are talking about only a few kilograms. This is logical, since the study of swordsmanship starts from childhood, and a 20-kilogram monster is not suitable for a child. Speaking of children, if you are a knight, then you will almost certainly help you have a squire who is great for you with six pieces of iron, a loyal boy who dreams of coming of age to become a knight himself, it is likely, of course, that he is of noble birth, since commoners served as squires for life. We dealt with everyday problems and practiced with the help of a squire. Dressed and ready, we thought about how to become crusaders. Not everyone who wants to be a knight can become one. This is the position you need to get. There is a rigid hierarchy here, and you cannot go hiking on your own. We need to wait for a command from the Pope. And even if there is such a command, we need permission. We see the type of knights, we are vassals, and we need to get the approval of our overlord. So, with full equipment on ourselves and sitting on a horse with a squire, we go to the overlord to get his approval. The campaign lasts at least a year, and each master will be glad the loss of his knight for such a term of office. Fortunately, Christians believe that crusades are mandatory, and permission is granted 99% of the time. We are not yet full-fledged crusaders. Of course, we need to go to the church to take the overseas vow. There we will be checked for sins and asked about the financial situation. After all, we will be on a campaign for three years, and all this time we will need to eat. However, do not worry, because we are a noble knight and the church will forgive us our sins. Money is also not a problem, since the church took care of financing our campaigns. There was a so-called Saladinka, where every inhabitant of Europe paid a tenth of his income to provide crusaders under the responsibility of excommunication. At the time, this was regarded as a severe punishment. There were exceptions, when people sold their property to go hiking. But we are like a lucky knight who owns humanity. As a final bonus, the church will take our family under its protection during the trip. This means that no pawnbroker will dare to owe our wife while we are loading on the march. In case our house is robbed, the church will turn the city upside down in search of the villain. Everything possible so that the knight could only focus on the liberation of Jerusalem. After consultation and long prayer, we take an overseas dinner and become full-fledged crusaders. Now we have the right to a white cross, and even the last pawnbroker will be signed with respectful respect. From now on, a routine awaits us from our cozy estate in Manchester to Jerusalem, a length of 5,000 kilometers. There are several options, either redirect across the English Channel and move to Italy to sail on ships, or immediately go on a sea voyage. Here the first problems occurred, even with the financial support of the church. Sometimes you have to pay extra for a normal place of origin, but this is not a problem. Problems arose in Jerusalem and in the Middle Ages. First, a united Europe was not so united. France and England were vying for dominance in Normandy, 
so they did not go out together in the Third Crusade, but each country went on its own. Even the famous Frederick Barbarossa died along the way. As a result, instead of 10,000 well-armed Germans, only a tenth of them reached the land of Saladin. Probably, there were situations in the first campaigns, where the Allies often entered into sharp deviations from each other, which suggests Russians and other Christian enemies, as well as Catholics. Thus, the story of our imaginary English crusader could have ended in the mosque of a Greek rebel. In addition, a dangerous disease, malaria, was spread on the way to Jerusalem, which to this day causes a life year in patience. Imagine what a high percentage of deaths among the Poe Crusaders. The son of Frederick Barbarossa, Duke Frederick, also perished, and those who reached Antioch were stricken with malaria. Every tenth crusader fell victim to scurvy, caused by a Poe diet, consumption of dried fruits, and monotonous food in the South. Scurvy disease led to the loss of hair and nails from the legendary Richard the Lionheart. For ordinary knights like our hero, the situation was even more difficult. In 1098, the Crusaders, after capturing the Chinese fortress of Mura, even resorted to cannibalism. Diseases such as dysentery were so common during the campaigns that it is not even worth mentioning their banality. For example, the short-lived King Louis X had to cut off the back of his pants because his pipes were badly worn. Dot. But even if our crusader had successfully overcome the universal existence in the Arabian desert, surrounded by unbearable heat, enemies professing a different religion, and the lack of protection of human rights, life was still worth nothing. People were set on fire with oil, tortured and killed in cruel ways. Dot until now. The number of victims of the Crusades cannot be accurately determined. Even in the most successful campaigns, only two-thirds of the Crusaders were able to return home, and in an undesirable event, as in the Second Crusade, the European armies were almost completely defeated. Thus, the chances of our Crusader returning are only 30%, and after the recovery time of both mental and physical condition is inflated. Dot what's more, the rare trophies that the Crusaders could capture were usually covered in religious artifacts that were given to churches. However, in most cases, the Turks and Saracens are not valuable trophies. Often the church was interrupted by financial support, and the Crusaders were interested in surviving on their own. However, there is also good news. The Crusader returns home to the glory of his house. Even the next generation proudly wears a title that helps them land a job or negotiate a lucrative marriage. So, dreaming about becoming a Crusader, you need to think not only about romance, but also about the atmosphere of the chamber, where everyone around suffered from spiritual air already in Europe, and half suffered from malaria, dysentery, and other troubles. Add to that only a slight chance to return home, and most likely, it would not be better to watch this YouTube video in 2023, sitting in a cozy apartment, or perhaps the nightly path is still attractive. Leave your comments, and see you soon, friends.